Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So I had a question from one of the viewers about what to expect from long distance relationships. And I just realized that I have not done any videos on long distance relationships. So this one question is actually turning into a series of long distance relationship videos. So for the next four, I think four or five videos, you will see specifically targeting long distance relationships. So if this applies to you, you stay tuned. All right, family, thank you so much for coming back. So what to expect in a long distance relationship? I have several tips from you guys. I mean, who would have thunk it? I mean, she has tips. Of course she has tips. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in. The first one, a lot of people wouldn't think about or this probably wouldn't be on their list. However, <laughs> it does occur, which is at some point you will get extremely jealous of your partner in which you perceive them to be doing or not doing you will get extremely jealous at least once while they are away from you the second thing to keep in mind is that unfortunately because you guys are not in close proximity you will not be each other's first priority I know that that is a bummer to hear and a bummer to think about, but you won't be each other's first priority because you guys are pretty much, not pretty much, you are. You are in a long distance relationship. <laughs> and so um, uh, there will be things that you have to think about and to consider, um, such as like the time zone. Maybe you are in different time zones and, and when when you go to sleep or wake up, you know, that person is sleep or woke. You know what I mean? So it could be different time zones. It could be like the whole meeting thing. When you're busy, I'm not busy. And so you two will not be each other's first priority. Just something to think about. Number three. Yes, three. You will be horny a lot. <laughs> You will absolutely be horny a lot because, again, y'all not in close proximity and there will be times where when you want to have sex, you can't have sex because your boo is not there. Something to think about. Number four, Skype and FaceTime will be both of you guys' best friends when your schedules match up in order to do the FaceTime or uh, Skype. <laughs> So when they match up, y'all going to be on it all the time because this is going to be a way to continuously build the connection with each other because you guys are not physically there. And again, you're not each other's first priority because life is still happening around you in the city, in the state, in the country that you are in where your boo is not necessarily there. The fifth Thing to consider and to expect in a long distance relationship is that you will continuously have to find ways to keep the spark alive. Yes, you're going to have to be very creative. Skype is a thing. Um, Skype and FaceTime that I mentioned is a thing that that's going to help to keep the spark alive. You can absolutely try to make dates when you're doing that. So you still get dressed up and then you're, you know, talking to the camera, but you're face to face with your, with your boo. You guys can make dates to watch movies together. Obviously, somebody is watching the movie physically on their TV and then you're having your boo right next to you via Skype or FaceTime. So there are going to be ways that you have to be creative in order to keep the love alive. Number six, you'll have to fight off invasive questions constantly from just the people around you, those who love you and everything. I actually did a long distance relationship. Um, it only lasted for about three or four months and obviously it didn't last. But um, there was definitely times where people would ask me questions or if I was going like to a party or something, they always wanted to know if I was bringing, um, bring, bringing the guy or, you know, was he coming to town? Was he going to be here? You know, um, are, are you, are you guys uh, sleeping with other people? It was just a lot of invasive questions that you got to think about when it comes time to other people wanting to know about your long distance, long distance relationship. What's going? How's it going? When is he coming? When is he going? It's just, like, mind your business. 
<laughs> mind your business. I know you mean well, but it's just way too much. If I wanted you to know, I would have volunteered the information. Number seven, you will not forget about them, but you will forget about how it is to actually be with them because there's so much time in between the times that you see each other. So you'll forget about what it feels like for them to touch you, for them to hug you, for them to lay right next to you. There's the very simple things when you're not in a long distance relationship that you don't necessarily have to think about. These will definitely be the things that you have to think about. The eighth thing that you will have to think about and expect is that sharing your everyday life will be kind of tricky. But consistency is everything. It really is key to keeping this together. As I mentioned before, it could be a time time zone difference. And so it could be tricky trying to think about what happened yesterday that you want to share. Because it's kind of old to you. But you're still trying to keep your boo up in your life to keep them a part of your everyday world. But it's going to be tricky to do. But of course, it is worth it to do because consistency is key to keeping that spark, keeping that spark alive and also to keep them on the forefront of your brain and also for them to keep you on the forefront of their brain as well. The ninth thing to expect is that you two will make far less memories of the everyday shenanigans that go on where where people that are pretty much face to face or living together are able to do all the time and they're able to bring up said memories maybe a week two weeks a few months down the road you guys in a long distance relationship won't be able to do that as frequent so when you guys are face to face you have to make the most of all of your moments together so you can have these memories to share but they will be far less few far and in between number 10 you will not expect for your relationship to mature, but it will have matured because of all of the constant communication that you guys have to do in order to keep your love and the spark alive in a long distance relationship. And you won't even realize it when it's happening, when you're in it, but you will realize it once you guys are back together in the same space with each other. That's when you'll see, wow, our relationship is really growing. It's really taking off. Okay, so these are the 10 tips that I have for you today. I would love to know if you have been in a long distance relationship or if you are currently in a long distance relationship, do any of these things apply to you? Is there something that I actually missed? I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say because as always, this is definitely a dialogue and we can go back and forth and you know, you can get my opinion, I can get your opinion and so we can all learn together. Definitely give me thumbs up if you like this video and if this is your very first time here I have several other long distance relationship videos coming or depending on when you're watching this even if it's a few months definitely check the description box below because they will be available for you uh, for those of you who are going to be watching me in a few days the next video will be released then and so I'll see you then deuces